Recording. Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Today is a moto vlog. It's just me talking and riding my motorcycle home. So, here we are. Beautiful sunny day. Uh, I think it's the first day of summer. I'm not sure. It was today or yesterday. Uh, yeah, so it's shown as 25 degrees Celsius on my motorcycle, but my motorcycle was sitting in the sun, so I don't know whether it's actually 25 or not. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, um, I primarily do ATV content, and I am in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. And I'm just navigating the crappy at crappy after work traffic in the south end Halifax so yeah um, yeah enjoy the ride I'll probably be cutting out any uh, sitting in traffic so that's no fun to watch you can see that the leaves are all starting to fill in on the trees which is super nice forgot to wear my uh, my motorcycle gloves today and I almost feel naked without them. It was pretty cold riding in this morning. This light is absolutely horrendous. Depending on the driver's aggression ahead of you, you know, only probably four or five people get through. Which is fine, I guess. This, uh, this camera is a uh, Cena, I think it's a C20 Evo, or C10 Evo. It's a Evo, and uh, it's helmet comms with a uh, with a 4K camera. That's what I uh, that's what I film the, all of my videos on. Uh, I also have a GoPro Hero 10, and uh, I use that for off vehicle shots, drive-bys. Clamped on the front of my video for different, or I'm sorry, on the whatever vehicle I'm driving for different, uh, different views of things. Yeah, sitting in this city traffic really makes me uh, thankful that I live outside the city. Because my patience level for this stuff is really, really low. Seriously, what the? Okay, they're turning. Somebody's pinging me on my phone. 
can wait. Don't look at the speedometer, it's off. I have a different sprocket on, so you can't pay attention to how fast I'm going. go. That's usually a bad light to get through. Forgot to put my uh, blinker on there, but I don't think there's anybody behind me that cares. Yeah, if you're watching my speedometer, my speedometer is very wonky. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm going with the flow of traffic, and everybody else is obeying the speed limit. Therefore, I am going the speed limit. If any uh, anybody would like to attempt to prove me wrong, I am more than willing to. Uh, Delete your comments from below. This body of water up here is the Northwest Arm in Halifax. It's uh, known for sailing and pretty much known for sailing. Sailing and rich people. I guess they go hand in hand. Rich people sail. The rest of us can't afford to. Although I shouldn't talk, I'm very blessed to, uh, to have the amount of toys that I do in life, so. I just have not chosen to uh, Get a boat. Boat stands for bring out another thousand. I'm not down with that. Yeah, it says it's 25 degrees Celsius, so that's what it must be. I'm starving. I didn't eat much at work today. clutch hand is getting tired today. I don't know why. Sometimes, sometimes it does.
And this is the infamous slash notorious Armdale Rotary. It is a roundabout that uh, a lot of people don't know how to use properly. But that's the fun of it, is getting through alive, especially on a bike. So we usually sneak into this lane. And then it's all clear there. Whoever's inside the circle on this one has the right of way. There, that was it. I smell food. I'm not hungry that I smell food. This guy doesn't know that that lane closes. Right up here, people trying to sneak in. Something splattered on the ground there. Looked like it had feathers at one time. I brought my MacBook and a laptop bag today, uh, hoping that it would fit in my uh, my Tusk medium-sized. Uh, aluminum saddlebags and it doesn't fit. The laptop bag is too big so I'm wearing it around my back. Just hoping that I don't drop 2500 bucks worth of uh, MacBook book on the highway, which would really suck. Yeah, I feel really weird riding without my gloves. Don't know why I didn't bring them today. Anyway, I didn't, and there you go. I have these uh, Barkbuster Storm hand guards that uh, I don't think would guard my hands from much if the bike was to fall over. But uh, it keeps the wind off. There's a big tar snake along here. You have to watch. It goes right across the turn. You sort of have to stay on one side of it because, uh, and then you have to hop over it here. There we go. Because it gets super greasy in the sun. There we go. 
So I'm going to be getting on Highway 103. That's how I get back to the uh, Tantalan area where I reside. and green. funny the motorcycle wave I don't do it anymore there are classes of people classes of motorcycle that just don't wave unless you're one of them which is uh, gold wingers will only wave to gold wingers Harley people will rarely wave to you so I just fucking gave up waving to them so sport bike guys wave to everybody Adventure bike guys wave to everybody. Well, I wouldn't know the difference because I'm on one right now. So, anyway, I just I caught my losses and uh, I don't fucking wave. Fuck it. It's a stupid thing, anyway. It's like if you own a Jeep, there's a Jeep wave. I've owned Jeeps and gave up on that as well because. Waving to somebody just because they own a particular product is uh, not my cup of uh, cup of tea. So again, my speedometer is fucked up. Don't pay attention to it. I'm not speeding. Even if it was normal, it would, these bikes, they're about 8 to 10% off, so 120 is really about 108. So yeah. showed that in my last ATV video, the, uh, the Lupins. It's that time of year. I'm gonna reach back and feel my MacBook's still there. Yes, it is. I won't be bringing that again on my motorcycle. bird is that? That's a big one. Look at the bird on that. That looks like a turkey vulture or something like that. That was a big bird. Yeah, the speed limit's 110. 120 minus 10 percent is under 110, so I'm good. That's if my speedometer was working properly, of course. It's 
sprocket changes set everything off. People drive mental on this uh, on this highway as well. It's uh, it's a complete shit show. There's no police ever on this highway. I've never seen somebody pulled over. And uh, yeah, there's definitely a need for police presence on this highway because there's people that just fucking drive absolutely crazy. Especially on the other way, on the other side of the road, headed inbound towards Halifax. Right around here, it's, I don't know, it's like, almost like Magnetic Hill and Moncton. It's, it's very deceiving how fast you end up going. And there's no real reason why you end up going way faster going in that direction, right past there. But like, people driving 110 on this, along here once they hit that stretch i pointed to back there it's like everybody goes 150 and i don't know why but yeah Ooh, yeah i don't want to be behind this to get in that lane yeah look how sketchy that is what is that full of Wow, it looks like it's full of plywood. Yeah, there's a lot of plywood there. I'd be happy to get by this dude. almost the weekend so we are going to be camping on Saturday night at Graves Island Provincial Campground and I think it's going to be a good time. We had a good time when we went there last year. So one can only assume we'll have a good time this year. Sit around the fire, barbecue some stuff have a gummy or two we'll see what happens I can feel when I get closer to home because the temperature drops. It's not dropped on the bike, but I can feel the air temperature has dropped two or three degrees just as I've gotten to the top of this hill. And the further towards, once, if you head down towards Peggy's Cove on the Peggy's Cove Road, the further towards Peggy's Cove you get, once you hit the Seabright area, the temperature immediately drops. It's like walking into a refrigerator. It drops two or three degrees, like noticeably instantly.
I don't like motorcycling. Um, look at my hands. I don't like motorcycling uh, without gloves. It's they're more cushy. See, I just waved to a gold one. Old habits die hard. But that guy's cool. I see him a lot. He's on an old 80s gold wing. And he's a grizzly old biker guy. Good on him. I'm actually going to start recording my, uh, my commutes. I'm wearing the helmet anyway. So uh, I might as well turn the camera on because I run into some ragey drivers and uh, I'd be more than happy to feature them on my channel. Speaking of which, I am so close to 500 subs, I can taste it. I looked at lunch and I'm something like 492 subs. It's taken about a year to get that fat, that much. And uh, I think I'm doing pretty damn good for an unestablished uh, YouTube channel. I've mentioned before that uh, I'm not in it for anything other than recording what I do uh, for fun for myself and if I can bring other people along on the journey to uh, to enjoy what I do from the comfort of their uh, of their living room Let's see look at this guy I'm, I'm happy to do so and, and obviously 500 people have enjoyed what I do almost 500 people um, enough to hit the subscribe button so it means a lot. 500 is just a number. But it's a cool number. Nevertheless. behind me in a ghost car, I think. They can kiss my ass. like one but it's not it's an old fella so this is a little side road head or actually it's a Hammonds Plains Road extension <coughs> excuse me heading from highway 103 down towards the uh, St. Margaret's Bay. See, this is a uh, 60 kilometer an hour zone. Uh, and very often uh, there are there's a, and it's a school excuse me school zone so there's um, always cops always always cops right over the crest of this hill usually hiding under the bridge with a radar gun so keep your eyes on your fries when you're going down this road because they're greasy Although there's no there's no reason to, to speed. 
especially in a in a uh, look speed finds double um, especially in a school zone so so yeah there's that see I can't help with a wave to people my biggest fucking hypocrite I don't wave to people wave wave it's all right though fuck that place too This is rails to trails here, uh, where I often am seen on my ATV making videos. Last place I want to be is behind a stinky diesel truck full of gravel bouncing down this road. doing all right folks this is the end of this video uh, I'm calling it like share subscribe